Hey guys! So today we're going to be making stickers with the Cricut Maker. Hi, my name is Pooja and I use she, her pronouns. And I'm going to show you guys how to use this machine. So if you watched my last stream, we designed a couple of stickers and we're going to see how many that we can make today. My focus is I'm going to be making some mini stickers that I can put on my phone case. I already have a couple of you can see and I'm trying to make some more. Um, what we're going to start off first is what I have behind me. Let me zoom in a little bit. And it's this flower that has a smiley face. So if you can see, I'll zoom out a little bit. This sticker, we're going to be making it out of vinyl today. And it actually has three different layers so I can show you guys. I'll just copy it. And to copy it, you put Control c Control v And I'm using um, a program called Inkscape that is downloadable from the internet for free and I'm using that today to design all of our stickers so if you also want to try designing something um, I'll show you guys later later in like later in the stream and you can download the software yourself so let me show you guys the difference between these I think I grouped it together so first thing I'm gonna do is ungroup it and to do that you can press shift control um, G if you can see at the top here, like uh, where my mouse is moving, um, there also you can use um, like this bar for some functions instead of using the keyboard. But because it doesn't show up on screen, um, I'm going to be saying the keyboard um, shortcuts as we keep going. But group and ungroup is under the object um, like folder up here. So I'm going to hit ungroup, and it's going to ungroup this just so I can show you guys the different layers. So this sticker, here, let me put a background so it's easier for you guys to see. This sticker that I'm making today has three layers. So it has this outside layer for the flower petals, it has the smiley face layer, and this black layer is gonna go behind the flowers. And the reason that I did um, a whole entire outline is so that first the flowers have an outline and also um, so I don't have to cut out these small little um, faces, like the features. Otherwise, I could cut out the eyes and the mouth, but because it's so thin, I think it would be really hard to lay on the sticker, especially if I'm making it super small. I've actually made this sticker once before in a larger version, and I put it on my water bottle. So guys, I'll show you guys what it looks like. I hope that focuses. But that's what the flower looks like. Um, the one thing that I'm going to change today is instead of having um, a black flower outline so that this flower has a, an outline around it, I'm going to make it a circle just to fill in the space. And the reason I'm doing that is because when I show you guys later um, how I place like the different layers on top of each other, it is a little hard to get it precise. So um, the outline is not always... Um, look like an outline sometimes it just is like off to the side like if you can see on this one it's not really an outline it's just like kind of there so I'm gonna change that but if you are putting it on something clear I will say that like it having a full black background makes it look cleaner from like the other side but I'm gonna change that today that's gonna be my little update from last time so you guys can follow along. I'll show you the basics on how to make a shape, and I'll be doing that right now. So, okay, let's see. So I'm just gonna put this off to the side, just guys, just so you guys can see um, this face. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna edit the nodes here, or I could actually just make it a circle. I think I'm just gonna delete this shape actually. So I'm going to click it with the arrow up here, I'm going to select it, and I'm going to press backspace, and I'm just going to put a little circle that's black. So I can see that right here. Oh, I forgot to do the most important stuff. Um, up here, I always hit the lock key before I start um, editing any of my projects, because this will make sure that um, there is no changes to the proportions of what you're making. So just so that everything stays like even as it should, I'm gonna do that. So I hit this up here and then I'm gonna just make sure the circle is round and you can edit the width and the height up here and even the location over here. But 
I'm just gonna make this like 35 by 35. You just type it in and it's actually set in millimeters. So now I can place this over here and it looks like it's a little bit too big. So I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller and to do that, you can just select it with the arrow key and then if you don't want it to change at all, you can hit shift. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna press shift and I'm gonna drag it and the circle will stay with the same proportions. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is move this to the center and I'm gonna send this to the back just to see if it's small enough and it looks like it is. And then I'll put this on top and the way I'm gonna center all of this is I'm gonna go to align and distribute under object up here that is shift control a for people that are using keyboard tools and i'm just going to use this to center everything so i'm centering it on the vertical axis and centering it through the middle axis and it doesn't look like it's centered because it has selection area so i'm going to hit biggest object and then i'm going to do it again and did it work looks like it's not centering so I'll just go in and do it manually. And you can hit the arrow keys to move stuff around. Uh, what I might do is select everything and then press center and center. I wonder why this doesn't center. Is this a circle? It looks like it's not a perfect circle. So I'm gonna fix that. I want everything to be like a circle. So I'm going to hit 26, oops, I just zoom out, I lost it. <laughs> and okay, and then I'm going to make Oh, I actually have to hit the unlock button if I want to change the sizing. So I'm going to do 26 by 26. And I'm going to make this uh, 23 by 23. And let's just, just make sure that everything is a perfect circle. And then now let's see if it aligns correctly. Hopefully it does. My smallest object maybe? First selected. Yeah, it's not working exactly, so I'll just hit it with my arrow keys. So. And this looks like pretty good to me. Also remember that like everything that you do on Inkscape, like it doesn't have to be perfect because you're gonna be placing the layers um, on the like sticker yourself. So what I, I think I actually might do is I think I, instead of even having an outline, I might actually make the smiley face a little bit bigger. Oops. So it um, overlaps over the flower so there is no black outline at all. Just because I think it looks a little cleaner that way. So maybe like this. And then now. And it needs to be a little bit bigger. Okay, and that looks good to me. Yeah, I like this. So I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase this and I'm going to save this file again and make sure you save it with a different title just so you have the old um, sticker as like just so you have it so you don't erase it, you know? So I'm going to press save as I'm going to put filey, smiley face sticker three. Okay, and I'm going to save it. And what we can actually do is I saved it um, as a SVG file, but you can save it as a PNG or a JPG or anything. So I'm going to open my uh, maker, like my Cricut maker space. So let me open that up one moment. Okay. This is 
also it's called Cricut Design Space, and it's like a it downloads straight onto um, your computer, and it's also free. You just make an account. Um, I made my account through with my student email, so I just downloaded it off the internet. You can Google Cricut Design Space, and it should pop up. If you can't find it um, using just Google, what you can do is you can find the link on the library website, I think, as you see library. And I'm gonna log in. Oops. If I can remember my password, okay. Ooh, and before I go any longer, I forgot to mention that um, th we're doing this live stream actually as a part of the Triangle Learning Days, a learning festival that's about sharing opportunities and experiences like our makerspace with the community. So check out um, other programs going on with Triangle Learning Days. Um, it should be online. Yeah, just wanted to mention that before we keep going. Okay, so I've logged in to Cricut Design Space and let's see if I can share my screen. It's gonna pop up. Okay, so the first thing that's gonna happen is you're gonna, it's gonna ask you like what machine you're using and we're gonna pick Cricut Maker cause that's within the maker space. We have the Cricut Maker. There's like two different options like Cricut Joy, Cricut Maker and something else. And let's see if this will pull up. Okay, I'm gonna share my screen so you guys can see what I'm doing. One second while I figure out the configuration <laughs> of, how to of how to share this. So, okay, so I figured out how to screen share this, so let me just transition. So now I'm going to hit new project and I'm going to upload my design. So the way that you can do that is just go to new and then that's how you pull it up let me see or it might be images not images projects if you have any previous projects they should be here but i want to add a new one so no this is selection sometimes it takes a little finessing on how to figure this stuff out <laughs> i've done it once before so let's hopefully i can figure this out Usually if you hit new, it should work, but let's try dragging and dropping our image in. Let's see, this might work. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna switch for a moment just so that I can make sure I save this in the right file. I'm gonna try saving it as a PNG as well because sometimes you can do both. You can um, save it as an SVG or a PNG. The reason I like doing an SVG is so that um, 
like the layers automatically um like upload correctly like you know how we did a black layer a red layer and a yellow layer um if you do an svg format then usually it'll do all of it automatically but we might have to do it in png because it's not pulling up but i'm gonna try off screen for a second and then see if i can get it to work and then i'll show you guys if it does and then to answer the question in the chat how do you get this design into the cricut software that's what we're gonna hit um figure out right now usually you can hit um new and it should pull up but i'm gonna refresh the app and see if it works again when in doubt just i would refresh the app because i think that's what i did last time and it worked so you hit the first thing i'm gonna hit is new project and then new let's see sometimes these things can be a little bit slow because it is like a uh, higher like format software but hopefully this will open okay okay so I figured it out it's not new it's actually upload so I'm gonna share my screen again so okay as you can see my previous image is here but just to reiterate like what it looks like so this is the home page that's going to initially open up after you log in and I'm going to hit new project and it's going to um, like open an untitled space like a completely new space and what you want to do is you want to hit the upload button that's the last like option on the left side bar hit upload and as you can see like you can upload all different file types so if you just want to upload something you saw on the internet you can do that. It's so you can upload GIFs, I'm not sure how that would work, but you can also upload PNGs and what we're doing today is an SVG format, so a vector format. And this is my previous one, but I'm going to upload it again because um, as you guys saw, we changed the background, right? So I'm going to open up my file from stickers and this is what our file is going to look like and you're going to hit upload at the bottom right, so it's this green button. When in doubt, look for the green buttons because that'll tell you where to go. <laughs> so now I'm going to hit this and again, I'm going to hit the green button on the bottom right that says insert images. So it inserted it here. And to give you guys like um, an example of what the like the cricket is showing, I'm going to pull up like the mat and then I'll show you guys like what I'm talking about. So show you the mat. This is the mat that comes with the Cricut Maker. And as you can see, there's all these grid designs, right? So the same grid that's on this sheet is the grid that is being used in the Cricut design space. So what I'm going to show you guys is I'm going to make the image smaller so that it fits within one of these squares because I want my sticker to be really, really small. But um, if you guys just want to use like the squares as measurements or you can measure like um, out like how big you'd want the sticker to be you can use either so where you place the um, exactly where you place the design on the Cricut design space is where it's gonna print on this so I always put personally I always put my design in like one of the corners so that I can just put the vinyl in the corner and like it'll waste like the least amount like I wouldn't put it smack dab in the middle because then you have to cut it out in the middle of the paper and that is a little bit harder so I always put it in the corner um you guys can follow along and put it in the corner like i do but yeah just to show you guys like the squares are here so if you want to make your design like three squares across and three squares up you could do that i personally find that feature really helpful because i'm not that good with measurements so i like to have the squares there okay and now i'm gonna go back to um sharing my screen so <laughs> And okay, so this is our design. As you can see, it's literally, it's very, very big. So the width and the height here, you can like lock it and unlock it just like an in Inkscape. And I'm just gonna hit one because I want my design to be really small. And that'll make it a lot smaller for me very fast. And I'm gonna put it like right up here. And again, I'm gonna use the, um, the square as measurement on how big I wanna make the stickers. And I think I'm gonna hold it up to like a sticker that I already have made. 
I think I'm gonna make the sticker actually even smaller and I might make it 0.5 by 0.5 instead of one by one because even the the one um, across is kind of big so I'm gonna hit yeah we'll just make it and we'll see if I want to make it smaller I can always make it smaller later you know I can re like make it will it let me make it that small yeah it did okay great so <laughs> I know this design is very puny but I did want to make mini stickers I'll be making regular size stickers um, after we make this one so do not fear we will be making regular stickers as well I just want to try a mini one and can we zoom in before I make it that size I just want to show you guys like what exactly I'm doing so to make the actual sticker I'm going to show you the live process but what you basically need to know is when you whatever um, layer you want to print you want to have the eye open and then everything else gone so I'm gonna print the black vinyl first so then I would just have that and then when I want to do the red I would get rid of the black here and then same thing for the yellow I would hit this and then turn this off so I'm gonna press all of them and press ctrl Z so that it goes as like small as it was before because that was the right size and then I'm gonna hit the eyeballs over the yellow and the red because the first thing I'm gonna do is hit the black and then what I'm gonna press after I've selected that is make it but first I should on the cricket the cricket um maker so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that here is the cricket maker in all of its glory so helpful for measuring is that in inches I think this is in inches yeah because one across and one across is too big to be centimeters, so I think it's inches. <laughs> it's not labeled, but I'm pretty sure it is. So don't quote me on it, but I think so. I'm gonna show you guys how to open the cricket and all the buttons that you need to press. So the first thing that you wanna do is just lift the top. And then when you lift the top, the bottom will automatically open and you wanna hit the power button and it's gonna start up. It's gonna make some noise. And then you have your cricket sheet. And then now on the cricket maker, I'm gonna press. <laughs> I'm gonna show you what exactly I'm pressing. So the first thing I'm gonna hit now that I have the black layer is press make it. And it's going to show the design like on the thing like again as I was telling you earlier like it's going to show exactly where it's supposed to be and like the measurement of it. And I'm going to press continue which is at the bottom right and it says connect machine no device found. So I just want to make sure that all my wires are connected so let's do that. unplug it and plug it in again and see if that works. And there's two wires that you actually need to be careful for. There's one that you plug into your computer and then there's another that you plug um, into an outlet just to make sure that the machine has power. So I'm going to connect this wire to my computer. Okay, now it's connecting. It was connected to my desktop before. <laughs> so if you use a desktop as well, make sure you actually connect the machine to your laptop or your um, actual computer and not the desktop. So now that you're here, it's gonna ask you to set a material. So I'm gonna hit vinyl because that's what I'm using. And if you're at the makerspace and you're using our material, it's also vinyl. And I'll show you guys, it comes in this box. And there's lots of different colors and it's all vinyl. So. That's what I'm gonna press. And I'm gonna leave the pressure as default. And I'm gonna press. Now you have to load the materials. So if here are the instructions about like you load the mat and then you press this arrow key. And I'm gonna just transition to showing you guys how to do everything on the machine. There's uh, some stuff that you hit on the computer, but it's super self explanatory. The one thing I really like about the Cricut is that um, all the instructions are super easy to follow along on the screen and the um, machine itself 
only has like four buttons. As you can see, like right now, one of them is blinking. So it is really good about directing you of like what you need to do next because the light will blink um, whichever button you're supposed to press. And then reading the chat, it's pretty small. How long do you think it'll take to cut? And wow, so many colors. I think it's only gonna take like 30 seconds. The Cricut is actually really fast. When I was making um, the sticker, the bigger version, it only took, um, it took less than a minute. So this will be very fast. Because I'm talking through it, it might take a little bit longer, but if you guys know all the steps and you wanna do it, it should be really fast. So I'm gonna load in the black vinyl. So I'm gonna take it out of this box that we have right here. So I have my black sheet of vinyl right here and it doesn't need to be a perfect square if you were wondering. All you have to do is like line it up. As you can see, like this goes off the edge, so I'm actually just going to cut this square with a pair of scissors because it's literally just vinyl. I think honestly I can use this because um, our design is literally less than a square, so I'm just going to use this piece right here. And every one of these Cricut mats has a plastic sheet on it, so you're going to peel that off. And this is to protect the stickiness so all these sheets are sticky so that you can just put your material on it and then slide it in so when i learned to use this machine my friend said to have it overlap on the corner a little bit just in case um it goes like a little bit off but that usually doesn't happen so i just stick it on here if you want to stick it on further we have a little toolbox with some supplies so you can use this to really like press it down to make sure it's flat. That's what I did. And then now you're gonna load this into the machine and you wanna do it so the side with the triangle is on the top, so. And if you can tell on the left and right corner, there is a spot for you to slide the corners into to just make sure it's at the right spot. And then you hit the blinking button. Whatever button is blinking, that's what you can press. So I'm gonna hit this and it's gonna load the paper. And you wanna make sure you're just holding the end. Like, don't let it go. So now that I loaded the paper in, you hit the second button, because now it's blinking. And that's just the Cricut button. And now it's gonna print. So like the machine paused halfway, like you just wait a couple seconds because like sometimes it does that. And then it finished cutting it out, like it was a circle so I could watch it go. But if you want to know if it's done, it'll, if this starts blinking at the first button, the arrows start blinking, that means you can take the sheet out. So I'm going to hit that, it's going to remove it and then I can just slide it out and our circle is cut. So now I'll show you guys how to remove this. You can use the tools that come in here. I just like using the tweezers and then there's like a another more precision tool. So let's see if we can just peel it off with the tweezers. And you want to just like lift it off. Oops. You want to make sure you get the backing. Like don't take the, the white part off because then you'll just have the sticker left. So I actually think this tool is easier to use, just the regular um, pointy one. So. I've removed it and I'm gonna just place it off to the side while we do our next color. So to show you guys again, make sure that you press finish because you finished the layer that you meant to print, which was the black. And then you can turn this layer off, make sure it disappears, and then do your next one. So my next layer is orange. I'm gonna press make it. As you can see, it pulls up on the sheet again. I'll press continue. It's connecting to the machine. Hit vinyl. And then I would do all the same stuff that I did the first time. So you have to load it in. So I'm going to do that. Let me pick my color. I'm just 
taking this very bright orange color right here. So what I'm gonna do is again, overlap over the corner a little bit, just in case it goes off, and smooth it down, and then load it in. Make sure that the sheet is between the corners, and you can hit the first arrow, and then the second arrow. Not the second arrow, the second button. <laughs> See, it didn't print like where I wanted it to, so I'm gonna put it in again. Sometimes that happens. If there are any issues when you're printing, you can hit the pause button just to pause it. But I'm gonna take this off and lay it on again because I think that's the way I put it on. Okay. And I'm gonna try again. So I hit the first button. And now the second button. And I hit the first button again to withdraw it, and it cut out the flower if you can tell. So I'm just going to peel this off. And I'm just going to cut around my flower design. And since I did it on the corner, it, sh it should be really easy to cut. And now we have our last layer, and that's yellow. So I'm going to grab that color. And let me catch up with the chat. What are we making? We're making a mini sticker for my phone in the shape of a flower with a smiley face on it. And, oh, it's smart to overlap. Yeah, I think overlapping is pretty good. Cause then like you don't have to use any like um, really, really small like cutouts. Cause like if I was making something bigger, I think that I wouldn't really have a problem um, just cutting out the face itself. But because it's so small, I'm just gonna avoid it. And I'm just gonna cut out like a very small piece of vinyl and stick it on just because I know my design is not that big. <laughs> it looks so small, but that's all I need. So I'm going to put it in again, hit the first button. Like we did have it we did have an issue with this so it didn't stick on all the way so maybe I did use a piece that was too small so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut out another piece and I can use that circle for something else. What I can actually do is stick on this whole sheet and do it again. Again the Cricut Maker Machine is honestly really, really um, forgiving. Like, if you make any mistakes, you can just do it again without like going through the whole process of loading it in. Use the smoothing down tool just to make it adhere and like stick to the sheet so that you don't have the same problem with it lifting off like me. So now I'm put it in. This is pretty fast.
now I know why it, it did a circle instead of a <laughs> smiley face. I forgot to switch layers. Don't make the same mistake as me. I still had it on the, um, the flower layer, so I'm gonna keep that because honestly I can make a yellow flower, but you have to make sure to switch the smiley face. So I'm gonna switch the smiley face and I'm gonna continue. I'm going through all of the same things. I'm just going to cut this. I'm going to save that for later. I'm going to stick this on. <laughs> and then hit the second button. Again, there's only three buttons, and you're really only going to have to use two of them, so whichever one is blinking, remember to hit that. the sheet on the way back out don't drop it otherwise you're gonna have to start all over like I just had to <laughs> okay I think we're good it looked like it made a smiley face this time okay it did so now we have all three parts so I'm gonna show you guys how to put it together so excuse me while I change our setup so I'm gonna just move this and my plan is to make a lot of these flowers using the different colors on here so that I can have like a bunch of different flowers in different colors but um, I'm probably gonna do that in my own free time and not on a live stream so you guys don't have to watch me make the same sticker a bunch of times but if you guys are interested I can show you guys how I made the sticker because I'm gonna change the facial expressions for um, the different flowers so I can show you guys the design and how I made it and like how I how to clean it up um, after I make another sticker. So this is sticky so actually don't work on this because um, everything will like stick onto it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab another mat. Okay I've grabbed another mat and these, this sticker is like really small, so bear with me as we um, try to put it together. Okay, so here are our three pieces of vinyl. They don't look like much right now, but we're going to use the tools to actually remove the different layers and then put it together. The only thing that you're going to need to do this is I'm going to use transfer paper. This makes it really easy to stick all of the layers together because they are really small and like trying to do it by hand would be a little bit difficult. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these two tools, the tweezers and this little sharper one to um, like peel off the, the excess vinyl that we don't need. So first I'm going to do this black one. So what you can actually do is like take the backing and you should be able to just like peel it off. Okay, so as you can see, once you grab that, you can peel off the vinyl and you're left with the little circle. And I just get rid of this piece of vinyl. That's why like, I try not to cut out too much because you don't want to waste it. Because like, I'm not going to really do anything with this leftover vinyl. And then... Let me turn this. <laughs> and I'm going to do the same with the orange. 
I'm just gonna use the tweezers to like lift the white backing. You can either lift the backing away or you can lift the top layer and I always like to do the top layer. So yeah. Since this is really small it'll take a bit of finesse, but I probably should have showed you guys with the bigger sticker, but since I was making the little one anyway, I thought I would show you guys. I'm gonna zoom in though. So here's our stickers. <laughs> I'm gonna do the smiley face, same process. So you can see like our different layers. And now to remove like the tiny detailed part. So for the orange sticker, we have to remove the inside. So I'm gonna lift it up. Okay, and I remove the inside part. And same thing with this. If you can see on here, or I should just show you guys on this, closer up. You can't really tell, but um, you want to lift like the big circle away so um, you get rid of the smiley face part. You can either do it two ways, so I'm just doing it on here. You can either remove the facial expression, or you can remove the circle, um, one of it. And I always like to get rid of the negative space, so that would be the expressions. Just because I think it makes it easier to use the transfer paper later. So I'm just gonna use the tweezers to take this out. Obviously if you make bigger stickers than me, you are not gonna have this much trouble. <laughs> but I think the attention to detail is worth it for the mini stickers. And if I was gonna, if I wasn't live streaming this, I would make a bunch of them in batch. But I thought I should make some other stickers as to not bore you guys with doing the same sticker a bunch of times. But yeah, I'd probably load in all of my like faces at once, and then cut out all of the circle, the black circles at once, and then just do the um, the flower layers last. But it's so stubborn; it won't come off. Okay, let's see if there's another tool. It's nice, if, it's nice that there are a couple of tools because sometimes it helps when there's different ones. I might have to use the X-Acto knife for this. There is an X-Acto knife in here, so. That is the one kind of difficult part of doing mini stickers. They might come out looking a little botched. <laughs> okay, I got it. So, as you can see, if maybe if I zoom in, you guys can see better. Okay, as you can see on here, let me turn it around. I removed the face and it's kind of hard to see right now because it's on a white background but once I put it on the black it will be easier so then what I'm gonna do next is take this transfer paper this big roll of it you want to cut out a piece and it wants you want to make it a piece that's big enough for you to hold comfortably so that you can start putting the stickers over another so what I'm doing with the transfer paper is oh wait there's a lot in the chat let me just catch up guys <laughs> just to make sure that I can answer any questions um, let me read. How do you plan to layer the different colors? I'm gonna do it with this transfer paper and I'm gonna show you guys in a minute. Is there a way to tell how much vinyl you'll need so you can pre-measure the piece? Yes, um, on the design maker, like on the grid, like I only cut out like um, one square, um, like for each like color of vinyl because I knew all of my designs fit into the square. So I just made sure it was like about like a inch by an inch. I didn't need to use any more than that. Like, there was no reason for me to cut out, like, a really big piece. And the Cricut is basically self-sufficient. Yeah, there is only a couple buttons, so it's, like, really user-friendly. Oh, it's a, it would make a good gift. Yeah, you can make really cool gifts on here, like, using the um, Cricut. I think, like, making stickers for your friends is a great way to um, 
use this. Or you can make stickers for yourself. Okay, so what I'm going to do is this is sticky, so I'm just going to use the tweezers to peel off like a little bit. And I'm just going to cut off that much. Honestly, I don't even need that much, but um, that sheet has already been cut, so I'll use all of it. It'll make it a little bit easier for me to maneuver if the sheet is a little bit bigger. But honestly, this is like an excessive amount for this, the size sticker that I'm making. So use um, the use your tools appropriately. <laughs> so now what I'm going to do with this vinyl is that one side is matte and it's um, not sticky, and then the other side is sticky. So the stickers will stick to this. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, press this transfer paper on the top layer, and the top layer will stick to it, and then I can put it over the second layer and the third layer. So if you remember, our top layer was the smiley face. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move these away. And let me just zoom out so you guys can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to put this over the center just so that it makes it a little bit easier to do. So I'm just going to hold this piece of vinyl and I'm going to stick it to the sticker. And then you can use a, let's see, the smoothing tool this one and you can just smooth um, your sticker onto the vinyl and this will make sure that it adheres properly. Let me zoom out again. I feel like it's so close. <laughs> okay and then you can just lift it off again with the tweezers. Okay I might have did a little fail because the sticker stuck over here too. You don't want it to stick because once it sticks it's probably not going to come off. But I didn't um, really press it over that area, so luckily the sticker came off on that part. So then now what we're going to do is we're going to stick this yellow smiley face over the second layer. And oh my gosh, this is so nerve-wracking. Okay. This is why you got to have like really precise hands, or you got to like um, do your design in a way that like uh, the, it'll automatically overlap for you so that you don't have to like worry about getting it exact. Okay, so... Okay, that looks good. There's no white space around the smiley face. I got it, guys. I got it. Okay, and I'm going to press it again with this smoothing tool. There's two. I don't... Yeah, there's two. I'm just going to use this one. And you want to make sure to really, like, flatten it so that it adheres properly. Okay, and then I just lift it again off the mat with the tweezers. The tweezers are honestly life-saving. And then you can just flip it over and you just want to peel off the white. And as you can see, you're just left with the sticker. And the last thing we're going to do is the black circle. And again, I'm going to do it in a way so that it's not showing around the side. Okay. Now we're going to zoom in on the sticker and rate it out of 10. Just because. <laughs> okay. And when you're done... I just like to keep the white part on the backing just so you can like use the sticker when you want instead of like right away. And you can just use your scissors and cut the vinyl away. So I can save this vinyl um, to be honest because it's such a it's a large piece. If I'm making more mini stickers, I'll just use this again. And I can just cut it. Remove all of this away. And the one warning I will give you with using the transfer paper is you want to get everything right on the first chance because once you um, once the sticker adheres to the transfer paper, you will not really be able to um, take the sticker off without maybe ripping the sticker or like ruining your design. You just want to get it right on the first time. Um, sometimes you can't even really like peel the vinyl away from the sticker depending how small it is. So I'm going to zoom in. Here is our design. I'll give the rating um, 8 out of 10 because it is the size I wanted it. It's very small, but you can see I messed up one of the eyes. <laughs> the, the cricket really didn't, because um, it was so small that um, one of the eyes didn't come off as easily as I wanted to. So maybe next time I would, I actually would change the design to make the facial features bigger. I meant to do that. Because I actually um, wanted to do that when I saw this sticker, the bigger version, but I forgot. 
So I would take notes on what changes you want to make <laughs> so you don't forget like me. But um, if I was to change anything, I, I would make the mouth and both of the eyes a little bit bigger because I think when cutting out such a small detail, it's hard for the Cricut to do it perfectly. It did really well, but the sticker doesn't look that um, great from like far away. Like you would not really be able to tell there was a face, right? So if I was to redo this, I would make the mouth thicker and I would make the eyes a little bit bigger. And I'm gonna stick this onto my phone next to the bigger one, and not my phone, on my a water bottle, and we can compare. So here's the back. And then what you can do is, I'm just gonna show you guys how to do it on my water bottle. So let me zoom out again. <laughs> you can stick this on anything you want. Um, so next to my water bottle, I'll just place the sticker on here, and then you can use the smoothing tool to smooth it on to your water bottle or whatever else you're putting it on. And obviously the more um, layers you do, the more 3D the sticker looks. Like this one is kind of raised because there's three layers. So now you can just peel the transfer paper off with some tweezers and your sticker has adhered to the surface that you want it to. So that is my first and second attempt at the sticker machine. Great, right? Okay. <laughs> so now that you guys know how to use the sticker machine, I'm gonna actually show you guys how to design the sticker. Um, this is a sticker from a previous stream. I'm gonna finish it. I'm gonna put the words on it. So um, let's do that together. And then we're gonna print that one. And um, we have an hour left, so I'll show you guys how, to, how I made the smiley face stickers as well. Or I can take um, requests. I got a request to make a crystal sticker, so we might do that instead. We'll see. So I'm going to transition back to sharing my screen. And I'm going to move this monitor. Okay, perfect. <laughs> and let's answer questions. Does it matter what layer you do first? as long as it's not the bottom you have to do the top layer first you do have to do the top layer first because um the top layer is what's sticking to the um transfer paper and then anything that you use the transfer paper to stick on next will be below the first layer so you want to work from the top layer down if i wanted the expression to be on the top and i say i cut out the smiley face like out of black and i just cut up i use the eyes and the mouth i would do that layer first you know like yeah so the background is last, the foreground is the first part. It's becoming a family, very, yeah, I know, there's a big one and a little one. Um, it'll be joined by many different colors of flowers later. So here is the smiley face. I'm actually gonna close this and open up a different design. So I'm gonna open up a bigger sticker so that you guys can see um, a bigger one in action. So I'm gonna close this, open up this one. And I worked on this a little bit since the last time that I made the sticker. This was the inspiration photo. And then these were like the rough drafts. And I'm gonna incorporate lettering. So let me open my letter. And if you guys remember last time, um, if you were here last time, I actually tried to, um, I tried to make like the letters curve on Inkscape, but personally I thought that it was a little bit too hard, um, because it was a little, not too hard, it was more difficult, um, for the, what I wanted to achieve than the effort that I wanted to put in, so I actually did this on Canva, Canva is also a free website that you can use, um, to do all kinds of stuff, make, um, online graphics. So I used Canva to make the letters curve so that I could put them on this circle sticker. So if you guys are new viewers and you don't know how to turn um, pictures into vectors, I just imported this image in and you can just drag and drop it from a folder. And this is just a PNG and I'm gonna go and make it a vector so that I can edit it and that the background is clear. So I'm gonna go to um, path trace bit, bitmap and that's shift alt b 
if you're following along with your mouth with your um, keyboard and I'm gonna hit auto trace single scan because there's only two colors black and white and I'll press update and it's gonna show you what it looks like and I'll press ok and as you can see it made it a vector so I'm gonna delete this or this is the vector the vector is the clear background and um, the one with the white background is your PNG so I'm gonna delete the PNG I'm left with this and sometimes this happens it rounds off um, like it rounds everything off and personally I want everything to just be completely straight because that'll be the easiest to deal with in the Cricut so I'm gonna go in really fast and edit this and what you can do is you can press edit paths by node this button and then click this and here it'll show you like oh you can edit it so I'm going to just um, I'm actually gonna select all of these and just hit corner and see if that straightens them out. It did not. Here, let's see. If I hit this one and press corner, will it? Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of these and hit corner and then I'm going to hit um, make them lines. That didn't straighten them out. Okay. So I guess we're going to have to do it individually. I was hoping we could do it fast, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all of the um, vec all the nodes that are not the corners. So this one's all corners. This one, I could delete that. And these circles, that's what makes it curve. So I'm just going to connect it to the next corner. And that'll make all of these straight. So as you can see, like I would delete this. And I would connect these circles to the opposite side. And that'll make everything straight. This might seem tedious, but personally, I feel like if you want to get a good outcome, like sometimes you do have to edit it. That's like the, that's what happens when you like auto trace. Sometimes it doesn't trace perfectly. I thought it would because it was black on white, but like you can't always, you can only hope for the best. <laughs> sometimes it comes out perfect, sometimes it doesn't. I think because these letters are kind of curved, it might have been harder for it to read, so. And then delete this and this. And we're going to go back and make these parallel. So what you can do is you can go to um, align and distribute. And I'm just going to select all of these or oops, select all of these. And then you can just hit um, make it all align. Oops, not that way. No, how do I align them? Wait a second. Let's see. Last selected. Maybe you can't like do it that easily. I mean, okay, we're just gonna leave it be. I don't need everything to be perfect. I just need it to be readable. So hopefully it'll be readable. <laughs> the reason I'm doing this is because like the more like a like the straighter you make everything the easier it'll be able to cut out because then like i'm sure it would still cut out perfectly fine if it was curved but i think it would be faster this way i'm like willing to do it so i just do it and then hit this one i would hit corner i'm gonna go in and select all of this and hit corner or you have to make sure not to hit the round one so i'll just select the t and the h So everything except the R. <laughs> okay, zoom back in. And let me go through this a little bit faster. Just so you guys don't have to sit through it. This is like the part, like if I was a YouTube video, I would like, I would probably fast forward it. But it's good to also know like how long these things take um, like in real life, I guess. So I'll hit these two and make them corners. Oops. And again, anything you want to straighten out, just use the circles and it'll remove the curves. So like this, I want it to be perfect straight
and that just corrects any issue. And I'm actually, this sticker is actually a gift for some friends. So because I'm going to be making a, like a couple of them, I'm not just going to be making one. That's why I'm putting so much uh, like time into it. If I was just going to make one, I probably would just print it. But because I'm doing like a couple of copies, that's why I'm like going to sit here and like do it. Because the more you do in the planning stage, like the less error there'll probably be when you actually cut it out. I always try my hardest to get it the right way on the first try so I don't have to make it over again. <laughs> Because you can make it over again really easily, but I just try to avoid it. We're almost done. It's usually letters that get curved. I don't know why. Like, usually when I um, do images, like, it usually transfers perfectly, but for the letters... The letters always, like, I always have to edit them, which is interesting. Because, you know, I always thought, like, because it was a recognizable image, it would scan a little bit better, but that's not how it um, actually works. So I'm going to hit this, and I'm going to hit Object Align, and I'm just going to make it all, like, parallel. You could do that. You could just hit this, and it'll, like, even out. So I'm going to make those all even. Like with letters like this, it's super easy to just even it out yourself. Oops, what did I just do? Wait, let me zoom back in. I got, I got lost there. <laughs> Sometimes when you curve letters, it just looks so weird. But um, let me make sure these are all parallel. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that because it actually should not have been perfect because it was like a curved letter. What did I do? It's okay. Did I press Control Z too many times? When in doubt, use Control Z. Okay, almost done. Now we have to do the spawn 19. Honestly, I didn't really have to make it straight. It would have looked cute curved too. But. <laughs> what a trooper in the chat. <laughs> It'd be like that. Um, I, I honestly, I really like editing the nodes, like, I look forward to it, that's why I spend so much time doing it. If you really don't care about the details, don't do all of this. Like, if you don't want to do all of it, don't. <laughs> I really like to, though, like, I think it's fun. Like, of course I like it when it gets, when it's, like, perfect on the first try, but, I don't know, I really enjoy, like, editing all of the nodes. Because I think this is, like, the fun part, where you get to edit it yourself. Because then you get to say, like, you did it, you know? It's up to you though. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna hit make hit all these. These letters are all straight lines, so I'm gonna actually hit all of them and hit corner. And then I'll fix it a little bit. That's not straight at all. What is this? See, sometimes it just does stuff like this, and it's like, why? <laughs> why did they not, like, why are they not parallel? Okay, fix it. I don't know, sometimes, like, curving letters does make it look wacky. three letters left. Let 
maybe this is why people just like curving the letters on Inkscape itself. Because you probably don't have to do all of this, but like... I don't know, I thought it was a little bit difficult. Look, I'm sure if I got the hang of it, it would be faster. I just thought this way would be faster, but... Put in the chat if you think it's faster or if it's actually slower. Almost done, two more letters. Okay, we're almost done. Two, uh, two L's, and this should be pretty fast because they're literally L's. Okay, perfect. Almost perfect. Maybe if you do bubbly letters, the imperfections would actually be less obvious. Because I feel like for this, because the letters are straight, it's like very obvious that they were meant to be straight and then they weren't. But maybe if you did like a more handwritten font or something, it would look normal. That's my two cents. Is this supposed to be a comma? I'm actually going to move it. Okay, perfect. This looks great to me. Let me fix this. Let's zoom out. Okay, looks good to me. And then I'm gonna actually move this because this is meant to, um, I'm gonna delete all of this. Cause this was for my drafting, like brainstorming. And they'll still be there because I'll, I'm gonna say this as a new file. So what was this supposed to say? Okay. So the reason there's three different iterations is because I did this different ways. I wanted to decide if I wanted to, okay, so for stickers, it's important to decide if you're gonna use negative space or if you're gonna just cut the sticker out and put it on top. So for this, I was trying to decide like, do I wanna have like just a white circle and then layer the green on top or do I wanna have a green circle and layer the white on top? So if I actually ungroup this, you'll see what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna delete this one cause the sizing was not right. Okay, and then the different options there were two different ways that you could have made the sticker and i showed both ways so let me just turn this white because that's what color it's gonna be and then i'm gonna get rid of this and um just so you guys can see what i'm talking about because we're using white layers so i'm going to duplicate these Oops. Okay, and then we have our two copies of our stickers, and I'll move that for there for now. And I'm gonna ungroup these because I think they have I have them grouped. I don't know why that got rid of the leaf, but as you can see, this would be putting white on top of green, and this would be putting two um, green layers on top of white. So this this method seems like a lot more work because personally there's like all this green on top of the white and I think this would be a lot easier. The only difference is that this is, is really thin so it might like tear or it might break apart. But that's the one I'm gonna try and like I'm gonna see if it works. Just cause there's less layers, um, I feel like personally it's better. So let me get rid of this. And Let's get rid of this. And let's see what's in the chat. I think it's faster to manually trace. Uh, yeah, I always try to um, use the auto trace function because I always thought it would be faster, but like 
in the case of this where like everything is literally a straight line i think it would have looked a looked a lot better if i manually traced it but for now i'm gonna just print it see what happens might manually trace it next time this is just a draft one i might not even use this one so okay so i'm gonna actually delete these parts because i don't need them the a Cricut design space should already automatically like um, see those different layers. And if you did not see the, my making of the leaf before, I'll show you guys. Um, it's actually just two layers. So if I ungroup it, the Cricut will um, cut that out. I actually might make it thicker because as you saw with a smiley face, when stuff is too thin, it's really hard to peel off. So I think I'll be making that thicker so it's easier to peel off. And then this layer is just a darker green on top. So I'll delete this. And we're going to go in and edit this. So I'm going to zoom in. Zoom out one more time. Okay, and as I said, I want to make this a little bit wider. So we're going to go in and edit this. And I think if I just use the arrow keys, I can honestly just make this a little bit thicker. Okay, and I'm gonna zoom out. It looks pretty even to me. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it. Looks great, okay. And now I'm gonna use the cursor button over here and just, I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller and I'm trying to fit it in between these two lines, so. It's a little bit too big. Okay, that might be good, but I'm gonna um, align everything just in case. So last time the align didn't work. I don't know why, like for the smiley face, if you saw earlier in the stream, the align didn't really work like as I wanted it to, but hopefully it does here. So I'm gonna select everything. I'm gonna press align and align. Okay, and obviously this didn't align, but let me actually go and deselect that because I like the placing. So I'm gonna select everything, then unselect the leaf. And then does the lettering look right yes i think it does okay and what we're going to do is we're going to delete everything else where is our drawing page where is our drawing page I think I lost the sticker. Sometimes when this happens, I can't really find it. Okay, I zoomed out. Oh no. I think we lost it, guys. How do I find it? <laughs> Here, let me see. Center page. Okay, so I centered it. And I found it. <coughs> so I deleted everything except... Sorry, I just coughed. That was gross. But <laughs> um, I just... Like, I'm not going to group it because I want everything to be in different layers when I print it. But as you can see, I only use four colors. There's the light green, two dark greens, and the white. So now I'm going to save this as an SVG file. I always save as an F SVG because I think the layers automatically, um, like, upload to the Cricut Maker Space. So I'm going to save this under a different name. Oh my gosh. Almost saved over all of my previous work. So I'm going to press save. Make sure you save it as a different name. Don't make the same mistake as me. And then I'm gonna upload this to the makerspace. So I'm gonna press upload. Let me share my screen so you guys know what's going on. And here I'm gonna press new project. Oh, this one says replace, okay press upload i'm gonna upload an image i'm gonna browse i saved onto my usb so i'm 
I pass upward. I'm going to select this, press insert images, and now I have to figure out the, des the sizing. So I have this mat, and I'm going to use this as reference for how big I want the stickers to be. I don't, I actually don't know how big the stickers, how big stickers usually are, but I'm going to make this one, um, do you think two, two inches by two inches is too small or too big? Let's see. If I was to put this on a laptop, maybe. Three inches by three inches is definitely too big. Two and a half by two and a half. Why don't I Google, um, I'm going to Google how big the average sticker is so I know the right size. Average sticker size. The most common, oh, this is a bumper sticker. What about standard stickers? A size of two times 3.5 inches about the same size as a business card and works good for custom logo stickers okay let's see how big mine is two by 3.5 okay let's see two inches by two inches i'm gonna go 2.5 just because there is a lot of detail and I don't want this to be like the smiley face sticker where it's like kind of hard to like um, overlay. 2.5 2. is really big. We're just going to do it and if it's too big we can always remake it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do that. And then as you can see, you can see like all the different layers here. Actually, let's see how many layers there are. So if I was to do this, let me show you how I would do it. Um, I would do the green layer first, and then I would cut out all of the whites at the same time. So all of that, the same time. Then I would cut the leaf. And that's the order I'm going to do it in. So let's start with the circle. Press make it. This will pull up. I'm going to press continue in the bottom right. It's going to connect to the maker. I'm going to press vinyl. And now I'm going to load all the design. So I'm going to show you guys um, how to use the machine again. So Oop, let me change the overhead cam. <laughs> it's still zoomed in. So let me fix that. Now we're going to make the sticker. Before we start, I actually need to decide on a sticker color. So we're going to do that first. So you are, in the sticker colors that you can choose, you are limited to the choices that are in the Makerspace vinyl option. So I'm going to just shuffle through this and see like what greens we have. I think we do have a couple. I need three different greens, like a light, medium, and dark. So we'll see what we can find. If not, I could always, instead of using a light green, I could always make the, um, let's use a beige color instead, but I want to go for a, um, a sage. So let's see. There's this green. This could be good for the leaf. Oh, and this could work for the shadow. Could even do a brown sticker. Or I could do, I can make the sticker black. There are lots of options. Just look through the um, vinyl selection, honestly, and you can figure out what you want to do. I 
I think after I cut out the sticker, I'm gonna start designing the crystal sticker since I got that as an ask. Gotta follow through with what the people ask for. So. Okay. It doesn't look like we have a green as light as I wanted, so I'm gonna pull out some different color options. Oh, and then we have the white. I actually have to pull out the white since we're using that. Almost forgot. Okay. Just to show you guys like our color options so for the background we were gonna originally do a light green but i couldn't find any like colors that were light enough so i'm gonna show you guys what i found instead these were the greens i found so we're gonna compare them on cam <laughs> These are all slightly different, and then we have two browns and three beiges, or this might be the same color. We have two different beiges, so I think instead of a light green, we can either do brown or we can do this color, this light beige. Yeah, I wanted to do a mint, but I couldn't find a mint. So I think for the actual sticker, we'll be using, um, I'm going to do this tan. I like this tan, so I'm going to do that use this tan color and then for the let me pull up the sticker i need to look at it <laughs> oh but if i do this tan then i can't do the let's see i'm actually gonna screen share again and we're gonna mess around with this on inkscape because if we do um if we do a light background then we have to actually change the letters to not white so Let's make the green um, brown and see what it looks like. Or like, if we did beige, this is what it would look like. That's not that great. We could do brown. Or black. I don't know. It's not really giving. <laughs> it's not giving what it's meant to give. Um, or what if I... What if this is cream? Or and then I made all the white brown. What do you think about that? Or what if I just made the letters green? That could also work. Let's try it out, guys. We could even make it the same green. Sometimes you gotta improvise. <laughs> I think this is one of those occasions. What about the- ooh. What about this? What do you guys think about this? Let's we'll see. Or black. Let me just copy it so we don't have to keep changing it back and forth. That's not giving. Like that? Which one would you prefer if you were receiving a sticker? The black or the green? I personally like the tan. I'm gonna try the tan. So going back to screen sharing my color options, this means we only have to pick three different colors. This means we can cut the leaf at the same time as everything else, OMG. That would make this a lot faster. So we need three color choices. We need a tan, a light green, and a dark green. This is our tan. 
Um, what would show up on this? I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna use these three colors to get rid of all of this. Perfect. This, okay, this doesn't really show up because like the, it's like kind of darker on camera than it is in real life. But this is gonna be the background sticker, like the background. This is gonna be all of the font and the leaf. And then this is gonna be the shadow. Honestly, the shadow is very unnecessary, but it is there to satisfy the choice of layers. Personally, honestly, I could take it out. What would it look like if I took it out? It would look like, did I group everything? It will look like that. I think that looks good. <laughs> but we'll do it just to see what it looks like. Would Should we do the inside color the same as the shadow? That is a good question. Oops. Or maybe the outline should be the same color as the shadow. I'm just trying things before we actually do it. Oops. To tie it in together? Uh, no. I'm gonna leave everything the light green. I think that looks the best. Okay. Now we're gonna use the Cricut. So let me actually switch to the other overhead cam. I'm gonna move this out of the way. And the first thing that we're going to use, that is so convenient, it adds some depth. Yeah, I think so. And what we're going to do is, uh, we're using the base color. So we're actually loading in the cream. So I'll show you guys how to do this. Honestly, the design phase is the hardest. Like, it's the, not the hardest. It's the part that takes up the most time. Actually, cutting out the design does not take that long at all. And I'm just going to make sure on my um, Cricut design space that I put the circle like closest to the corner as possible because I don't want to waste any vibe. And I think I did. So now that we smoothed it on, make sure you smooth the corners because honestly that's the part that lifts off the most. And if it lifts off, you're going to have to redo it. So save yourself the time and smooth it before you put it in. Hit the arrow. Put it in the closet. And hit it again. It didn't go in straight. Make sure you catch it on the way out. Because if it drops, it will drag the rest of the sheet out of the machine and you'll have to redo it. Okay, and then make sure you don't yank it out. Make sure you hit the button. So if you look, there's a circle. You can't really tell like unless you're like there in real life. Like it doesn't really pick up on camera, but there is a circle. And then you just peel it off like that. And then I'm gonna put in the next color and make sure you don't make the same mistake I did when I was making the smiley face. You want to make sure you switch. Otherwise it'll cut out a circle again. It's gonna cut out the same thing like unless you actually switch your design. And that's really convenient if you wanna do the same design in a bunch of different colors. Like if I was gonna be making my on the smiley face sticker a lot I would just leave the flower petal design up and I could just keep putting in different sheets and I don't have to hit load every time but if you do want to switch designs and colors make sure you switch the design on here so I'm going to now click let me show you guys what I'm doing just so you, I know you guys are following along I'm gonna just hit this so it's not showing up if it doesn't show up it's not gonna cut up so I'm gonna cut out my rings as well as my leaf and my font so it's all gonna cut out in the same color so I'm gonna hit make it oh wait I'm actually really surprised it does it separately I wanted it to all be on the same thing but I don't want to drag it myself okay I'm actually gonna press cancel 
And I want to see if I can group them. I think there's a group option up here. So to select them, how do I do that? It like automatically grouped it for me. I think it automatically grouped it based on how I grouped the SVG. Okay, so I just went to color sync and it lets you drag and drop everything. So, oh, this is different. This is the same. Will that automatically group it? Let's see. I don't want it to be separate because the thing is if I make it separate it's going to be a lot harder to like layer everything. I want it just all layer the same but I think I might actually need to change it on um, here and then do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to delete this and I might just re-upload my design because right now we've only done the circles so it's not that big of a deal. So I'm going to hit ungroup. And I'm going to, I'm going to group everything except that shadow and the back circle. I'm going to hit object group and it should, one second, I need to, okay, I need to <laughs> rearrange the layer so the shadow is on top. Because it's all grouped, it should upload everything into the um, Cricut at once. So I'm going to press save as, I'm just going to press save. I'm actually just going to hit save. And I'm going to, do I just sit? Okay. I'm going to hit upload. But first, I made it 2.5. You just want to remember, um, like the sizing, if you changed any of it. So I'm going to upload this again, sticker. Final. Upload. Insert image. And then I made it 2.5. And I didn't move it at all, so it should be in the exact same spot. Or is it? Oh. Oh, wait, it doesn't matter because I didn't do that layer yet. So I'm going to actually delete this. Delete it. And then. I don't do it right up to the edge because I don't want it to get cut off. So, um, okay. And now let's see if it, what happens? I think it's all should, it should be grouped because on the side here it's grouped. So let's see, I'm going to hit exit on this and exit on this. Fingers crossed. No, it still separates them. How do I not separate them? because I really don't want to. It would be a lot more work than it's worth. <laughs> so let's figure this out. Okay. What if instead of, instead of grouping it, why don't we just combine everything? So I'm gonna hit this, just all the green, and I'm gonna go to, what if I hit union? It would be one piece. Okay, I'm gonna hit file save. I think if I hit union, it'll all be one piece. Because if you group stuff, it's still separate um, things just grouped together so they're all selected at once. But if you press union, they should be all saved as one image altogether. So we're going to try uploading that. Upload it. Upload another image. And I'm going back and uploading the same thing. make this 2.5 okay is it gonna work no it's oh this machine is too smart for its own good it realized that they're separate things and separated them okay I'm gonna try this for a couple more minutes and, and see if I can figure out how to do it if not then we might just have to print it that way. I feel like that would be so unnecessary, but let's see. We could ungroup it, but I don't think that would help. Okay, so I'm gonna go to ink space. Is 
is I feel like union is pretty permanent, but I guess it's not because you can hit difference. What if I hit combine? I'm just trying the different options to see if like anything works. So combine. Maybe this will work. Let's see. I mean, there only are so many options. So if this doesn't work, then it might just, we might just be doomed to doing it like all separate. I would not say doomed, but <laughs> it wouldn't be as easy as just like having it all, like, cause the thing is it's circles. So if it's not like aligned properly, it's kind of obvious. That's why I want like at least the rings to be together. If I have to place, the letters myself. I would not prefer to do that, but I wouldn't mind it as much. Um, but let's see. No, maybe I just have to move it on here. Is there not an option to align it? Cancel. Let's see. Do we do we try any other option? I feel like one of these would work. I just don't want to live stream me just clicking on all of them at once, but let's see. Okay, maybe I have to ungroup everything and break them apart and then do it again. Object, ungroup, path, break apart. Oh, that was not it. What if I just upload this by itself? Maybe because they're all the one color, it wouldn't recognize them as different layers? I'm gonna hit union and hope it reads as one singular thing. Let's let's try that. Save as. Letters. Let's see. How does it feel about this? I keep trying to double click it. <laughs> oh no, it still separates it. Um, image too large. Where's the image? 2.5. It actually technically have to be smaller, but we can fix that like just later. this work let's see oh i don't know why it <laughs> reads it as different things even when we press union um let's try it's still gonna yeah i think we're just gonna have to do it <laughs> i think i'm gonna try layering it on here to the best of my ability because i still think doing it on the machine is a better option than um oh you can't even select multiple at once otherwise i would like literally center it over one line and then do it but what i was saying is i still think it's better to center on the machine itself than try to do it by hand because i feel like that is a lot harder i wish i could zoom in let's see i can't okay is this 
Oh wait, I did this pretty centered if I do say so myself. Oh, you can't use arrow keys to move these around. Does it look pretty centered? I think so. I think it looks pretty good. Okay, looks good. I'm gonna press continue. That actually was not that hard. Um, my only thing is, like, yeah, that wasn't difficult to just, like, do it myself, but every time I make that sticker, will I have to rearrange it myself? That's basically, like, my issue with that is, like, all the stickers individually would look fine, but if I was gonna mass make the stickers, they would look different from each other. That's not really a problem. Like, it's a handmade gift, so I'm sure if I was to give it to someone, they would understand. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna switch cameras. Let me catch up with the chat. Oh my god, wait, my mod was literally telling me how to do this. I could have just read this. Wait, okay, 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 okay. Let me catch up. You can do it on Cricut. It's on the right side. As an option, you have to lock the images together. Changing the file in Inkscape will not change anything. Okay, let's try it again. On the right side. I should have read this earlier. <laughs> okay, let me press cancel. Do you want to cancel the cut? Yes, I do. Cancel lock the images together it's an option on the right side what are these options um the right side If I right click up here, ungroup, duplicate, attach. Wait, let me control Z. I don't know what that means. Let me look at the other options before I click that because I'm not sure what exactly what that means. Attach weld flat. Uh, let me catch up on the chat. Wait. It's where the layers are. You have to lock the images together. Let me do this off screen first. Let me see. Oh wait, I see it. Oh my gosh. Wait, do I? No, I don't. That was the wrong thing. That was attach. It wasn't lock. Did I hit right click? Attach. What if I just use the help? Lock images together. Is it called welding it together? No, welding is attaching shapes and making sure they overlap and remove any lines. How do you lock an image? Use attach. Okay. So it's attached, not locked. Okay, let me try that. Okay, so. Okay, because this has to be an option. There is no way this is not an option. Okay, <laughs> I'm not the only person that has this issue. So, what we're going to do now is actually hit. Why do I have so many layers? Give me a second. Should I delete some of these? Um. One of them had an option to attach. Okay. I'm actually gonna delete these because this was unnecessary. That's when I tried grouping it off of um, Inkscape. So I'm gonna select this. You have to select it on here. Right click, press attach. Now we're gonna try and make it Oh my god, we f we solved our problem in one. You do it on the Cricut Maker Space, on the Maker, the Cricut Design Space, not on Inkscape. So to do that, you right click and press attach. Okay, we're gonna press continue. And remember to hit vinyl because that is the fabric that we 
not fabric. That is the material that we use. Okay, so glad we figured that out. <laughs> now we're gonna go ahead and print it. <laughs> okay. Um, what color did we decide? We decided on this green, and I'm gonna just attach this to the bottom. I mean, the top. good because I'm sure that would be helpful if you wanted to print a bunch of parts in the same color. I'm going to put this in. Make sure you get the corners. And we're ready. So exciting. I hope this works out perfect the first try. But we'll see. Maybe it's cutting the letters off first? Oh yeah, this might take a second, since it's doing everything at once. circle. More letters. You can kind of tell it doesn't by what it's doing. Okay, the biggest circle. Another circle. Did it do the leaf in the middle? It did! Okay, this looks so good. Okay, are you guys ready to cut it out? Oh, we have a uh, one part left. Left, actually, we have um the shadow. Do I even want to do the shadow? I feel like it looks kind of cool. I feel like placing it is gonna be so hard. Do I want to do it? Let's see. You know what? I'm actually gonna skip the shadow. I know that I did it on ink space, and I on ink space and I thought it looked cool on there but I will say that personally um I do think that like uh the the sticker is gonna just look cleaner with two colors because not only will there just be two colors um the the sticker will be less 3d like you can make the the sticker 3d if you wanted but just when I made the flower sticker I feel like it being raised made it seem like um a little bit less neat and I want it to be kind of neat so I am going to let me switch cameras again I'm actually gonna just leave it at two colors also because like me trying to do a third color and then um, like having to overlay that myself I just think that will um, like it'll be too hard to be honest like to get it to lay perfectly so So I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead. I don't think it's quitting. I think it's making us more decision to be honest. <laughs> so okay, now I'm gonna cut this out. Being the first person to cut the sheet is so nerve wracking. Okay. And now we're gonna use all the tools that we have here, and we're just gonna cut this out. Oh, I think this is reverse. Okay, perfect. Is it focused? Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, perfect. 
Is there a little bit more white, or should I turn the light on? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. And I guess I'll zoom in so that you guys can actually see what I'm doing. It is kind of hard to see because everything is the same color, so forgive me for that, but I don't think there's much I can do about that until I start peeling everything away. So, um, the first thing we're gonna do, you have to be careful on when you peel the layer so you don't peel the wrong layer off. So I'm going to start by peeling the outside most layer, which is this part, so I'm going to use the tweezers. There's a little bit of white space if you use the edge. So I actually just like using this tool. I feel like it's the easiest to use. So I'm going to work this again. And then now that I got that under, I can actually just use the tweezers. Okay. Oh, and you can see here, because I made it too close to the edge, it's not a perfect circle. The bottom is actually flat. That's fine, because this is a test run. But I would be mindful of keeping it too close to the edge. Because it looks like I didn't move it further enough on the top. So, And then... What's the next part that I have to cut out? Just this inside part, so. I'm actually just gonna cut it out in the middle. Okay, and I'm just gonna use this the whole way down. Okay. This would honestly be really good for making stencils. Like if you were painting or something, it could be really cool. Use my tweezers to hold this. I think it's easiest to go from the middle when you're lifting something up, just because the rust will peel away nicely, and also just so you don't like um, cut the like edges. Like if I was to start here instead of in here, I would have maybe like messed this up, and I don't want that to happen. And then for the last part, we're gonna cut out the um, the inside of the leaf. Again, like raise it from the middle, and then I'm just going to use the tweezers to beat it up. Oops, looks like it got to work. Okay, this tool is actually pretty nice. I'm gonna peel the green off a little bit, and then I'm gonna turn this a little bit. And you remember to start from the middle because I think that just, uh, prevents any like it like keeps the edges looking clean basically is what I'm trying to say. And then anything else. Okay no. And now we have to remove the insides of the letters. So like the inside of the nine. Oh <laughs> okay. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is if if you saw like the letter peeled off, what I'm actually gonna do is use the back of the sheet, lay it over, and I'm gonna smooth all the letters down. Cause you wanna make them really adhere to the white paper. Otherwise, when you're trying to remove the middle of the letter, the outside of the letter will also lift up. So I hope this doesn't move anything underneath. This is kinda like ironing. Same uh, overall goal. I've definitely made stencils with this. It's great. I think the camera is flipping the image. Oh, it is. How do I reverse it? <laughs> um, well, it is reversing it, but I am not sure how to flip it. Let's see. And that just rotates it. I'll figure it out at the end to show you guys, maybe. <laughs> but, yeah, I just flattened it. You can even do it maybe with this tool itself. But it kind of leaves marks on the vinyl, so I would just be careful. Okay, they can just lift it and then scrape that off. Same with this. Okay, this is lifting a lot better than I thought it would after you, like, smooth it with the vinyl. Over here, it looks like it already came off 
a little bit. You can pierce the piece of vinyl with this, honestly, and lift it up. I think that method is really good too. Because it also um, keeps that from sticking it, sticking like to the letters. And I think that's it, that's everything. Can I flip it to show you guys? Let's see. Just so you guys can see what it looks like for real. I flipped the wrong thing. Okay, got it. Figured it out. <laughs> so this is what it looks like in real life, correctly not flipped. This is the final sticker. Let me back away and see if there's less of a shadow. But this is what it looks like. And then where is my glue? Where's our, um, oh, I'm working on it this tan we actually have to remember our sticker was tan so we can actually cut this out yeah I think this would make really good stickers if you were cutting something out the thing is the vinyl is kind of sticky but you could probably use the transfer paper to lift the vinyl off of whatever you're like let lift the stencil off after you're done that could be cool okay Okay, and let's zoom out so you guys can watch me put this together. So, we're gonna be putting this onto this. Can I use the vinyl from before? It's kind of small. I'm gonna have to use another piece. So, let me cut it. Yeah, honestly, I think using this for stencils is a really, really good idea. I will be trying that in the future, I think. If you were ever to do, like, lettering, like, I think painting letters can be really tedious. I would I would just um, use this to make a stencil and then, like, then do it. Because also, I'm the kind of person where I like to trace stuff before I paint, or, like, I don't really like to... I like to have a plan. I like to trace. And I think if I was to trace something, using a stencil would just be a lot faster instead of tracing. So yeah, this could be something to look into. Even like if you're spray painting something, this could make it even faster. You could just stencil it off and then spray paint on top and then remove it or something. Okay. Let me cut out. Okay. I'm trying to get like enough so I can like handle putting the sticker together without using like an excessive amount. You want to make sure not to use too much of the material because if it's not necessary. So okay, so I'm gonna put this together. So I'm gonna just center it. And again, use this to make sure it really adheres. And I would just go one way with it and then go the opposite way. You can even work out like the air bubbles if you want. Okay, and then lift it up. And it should automatically peel away from the white. And if it doesn't, you can just you can turn it around and peel the white off yourself. Okay, and then for the next step, we're gonna put it on this. So let's try to line it up. And make sure you wanna try to get it on the first try because you will not be able to lift it back up. So. Oh, using the tan, it's kinda hard to see it. <laughs> um, it's fine. This is a test sticker. Okay, okay, that looks pretty perfect. Okay, 
And this is the step where you actually want to get all the air bubbles out and like flatten it. Like not air bubbles. You want to make sure to flatten it like when you have the um, transfer paper on top of your final sticker. You want to make sure this is the time to really press everything together because um, this this transfer paper is not going to stay over the sticker unless, unless you want to put it over um, whatever you're putting it on with the transfer paper. But I'm peeling it off. So that layer is not going to stay. So if I don't stick on the letters like super um, solidly against the back, they will peel off. So that's why I'm going to just go in and make sure I press everything. It's where you really just want to like flatten all the letters out. Because I don't want them to peel off later. Because that would be awkward. So. Because you can smooth it on later, but like if you do that, it, the letters will probably move. So I'm just gonna try flattening it. I'm gonna start from the center and move outwards. I feel like that's a good way to do it. And you can just go across, across. Okay, I think it's stuck pretty solidly. I think it looks good without the drop shadow too. I'm gonna stick this on my water bottle. We did it. Why does a smiley face convert to a robot? Yeah, for a lot of programs it really does. Even on GroupMe it does, but thank you. We did make it. Oh, it's 8.07. We're actually supposed to be done now, but I'm just gonna stick this. I got caught up. I'm gonna stick this onto my water bottle and then I'm gonna end the live stream. But thank you guys so much for joining. I hope that, um, this was really helpful. Also do check out the other Triangle Learning Days programs. Um, there should be a calendar on the library. You can find the other programs. And thank you guys for joining. I hope this was really um, educational and helpful to you guys that you guys learned something from this. Um, if you need any help, like feel free to come into the makerspace, ask questions. Um, we're open during the week. And there's always someone in here to help. So. Yeah, someone can walk you through how to use the um, like the sticker machine if you need to. If you want, you can reference one of these videos back. If you have any questions, you can ask me um, during my next live stream, which is Tuesday, and I will try to answer them. So, okay, now I'm going to put this on my water bottle. Placement is important. Where do I want to put it? I'm going to put them put it on the other side of the flower. Sure. I'm going to stick it on right here. This is a really big piece of vinyl, but you're, you need to be able to hold on to something. I would, that's my other tip is to don't make the, you should save the vinyl, but also don't make the piece too small because if it's hard for you to stick everything together because you're navigating it, that would be, that would really suck. So okay. I'm gonna really press this on with my hand as well as the tool. Because this is a round surface, I think I can just stick it on. Okay, and then peel the vinyl away and hopefully it comes off clean. Okay, and that's our final sticker. I hope you guys like it. I think it looks really good if I do say so myself. But that is all for the stream. Here is our final sticker. Um, and then this was our first two attempts. Um, hope that was helpful. And just remember that um, all the software that we did use today is free. Inkscape is um, able to download for free off the internet. So is the Cricut Design Space. And um, yeah, have fun making stickers, guys. Ha happy uh, last week of class. So good luck on finals. And that is all from us. So goodbye. See you guys next time.